Hi there Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 10th through July 31st love reading. Again, this is for Taurus. Thank you to all my subscribers, commenters, likes, um, watchers, and bookings. I really appreciate that. Again, this is a love reading for Taurus. What do you have for the sign of Taurus? July 10th to July 31st. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your rising sign or your moon sign, or both. Again, this is for the sign of Taurus. I think I'm just reminding myself. Your psychic abilities are way up there towards the end of July. Your intuition is right on. You, you are listening to your higher uh, self. There's no lack of, I mean, there's no confusion going on. You're, you're thinking clearly. You're feeling really good about yourself. Um, perhaps people are starting to recognize your worth or recognize something about you. So you looks like you have an air sign, um, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra who is part of your life during this time. tablecloth is so thin Let's see if I can burn myself while we're at it I just want to move these up because I gotta get one more and I'd like you to be able to see it all I think it's really important to be able to see the cards for some reason I like to when I look at tarot readings I like to uh, I like to see the cards um, that's just me all right, so it looks like perhaps whoever this person is um, has, it, it, perhaps it's already ended, okay? It's already ended because here you are. It's ended, they've walked away, um, or you've walked away. A situation has ended that caused a, quite a bit of pain, um, probably with a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius person. I still want to get one more. Looks like something is going on behind the scenes. Um, and something unexpected is coming your way, Taurus. Something unexpected in love. Um, <coughs> looks like you... Um, you might not believe it, though. You might not believe it. But it is what you've been praying for. You've been praying for that ultimate union. You've been praying for your soulmate. Um, you know, and I think that they have been hearing you. I do. I think your prayers have been heard. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that last card. I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled. Oh, you are definitely starting a new journey. Probably by the end of July, you will finally get there. I just want to make sure I have my whole thing covered here. Um, I think that's pretty good. 
you have a lot of um, spiritual guidance here, a lot of divine help, help from the divine, help from somebody above, um, a lot of destiny, all right, a lot. It's time for you to um, start a new journey, and the universe is going to help you with that. The universe, you're going to be presented with a choice in love, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be quite surprising, okay, it's not who you think it is, it's not. There's something going on. It's going on behind the scenes right now. Um, and it's definitely going on behind the scenes and it's going to affect you in a big way. We have you here. We have you here. We have you here. We have you here. And, you know, you're surrounding this. So something is going on right now um, that you are not aware of. All right. And it brings you an unexpected choice in love that you are magnetically drawn to. Um, right in the center of the reading, we have we have the Earth Mother twice. I mean, this is the Earth Mother, which is you. But this is also the Earth Mother. She is very motherly. She is beautiful inside and out. She's very feminine, uh, fertile. Um, her be She's a beautiful soul. Okay, she is a beautiful soul. So, um, there's, towards the middle, or towards, this is the 10th through the 31st, so I'm saying probably around the third week, the th yeah, probably right, right around the third week of July, um, be careful, <laughs> because you could get pregnant, I'm just saying, I mean, just, if you don't want to get pregnant, be careful, because you could, um, and, uh, your beauty really begins to shine, your inner beauty and your outer beauty. You will be glowing towards the third week of July, absolutely glowing. Um, this unexpected choice in love is going to... Um, push you into a new direction it is it's going to push you into a new phase of your life one one um probably this this right here that has ended you know this relationship that has ended with a libra um taurus or aquarius it's finally ended it looks like it has ended it's gone it's over with and now it's time to start a new journey and because it is time to start a new journey um the universe is going to bring you in somebody that's unexpected so whoever this person is is not what you expect it's not your usual type probably doesn't look like your usual type doesn't act like your usual type and just you know isn't your usual type so you might at first you'll be like hell no well this is hell yes okay um and you are starting a new chapter, an absence, a new chapter of your life by the end of July. I would say this is right by the end of July. Okay, right close to the end of July, you start your new journey. Okay, probably with somebody else. That's the hope. Okay, that if you're not, um, if you're not with somebody, we're we're gonna hope that somebody is coming in by that time. If um, you are with somebody, perhaps your uh, commitment is going to go up to another level. Could be get pregnant, okay? Or have a child together with somebody. I see that you are feeling very proud. You're very, very proud of what you have become. All right, you've followed your beliefs. You have believed in yourself. You've, you've been true to yourself. You've been listening to your intuition. You've been listening to your guides, and you've become, you've become pretty darn whole yourself. You have. You're beautiful inside and out. You are loving yourself and other people can see it. I think that they are recognizing your um, worth, okay? So you might have a little bit of um, pessimism, okay? You might be a little pessimistic 
to even um, letting love in. Okay, you might be because of this person over here, you know. Perhaps it was so difficult that, I mean, you're, you, you're weary. You're very weary. You've been, there was a lot of tension. There was a lot of tension. And perhaps you stuck it out for a very long time. You stuck it out, you stuck it out, you stuck it out, and now you just have decided, you know what, I... I can't stick it out anymore. You know, it's not like you've made any impulsive decisions. You have not. You've prayed for the answers. You've begged for your guidance. You have really thought about this. There's been no impulsiveness about it. Okay? Either there's been too much tens tension and there's been too much hurt and you can't hang around anymore. You just can't hang around. You're, you're ready to not. You can't. All right. It's time to start a new a new path. A major life um, phase has ended. All right. Something completely new. A whole new journey is ahead of you. Something that you don't have any expertise in. None. None. It's an unexpected new path. Okay. You don't have any expertise in it. And the only reason this came about was because of this split. Was because of this uh, loss, this sorrow. Probably because of this person. And here you are in the middle. It's the only reason. I mean, it's not the only reason. This is, this is as the world turns, okay? This came up in another reading as, as well. This is it. It's a new cycle for you Taurus it is it's a new cycle by the end of July the first week perhaps you've really decided to to cut it you decided to get rid of this person okay this person is you know their history and um, you followed your intuition you have listened to your guides you know what you need to do this is this is like the 10th you know the 10th 11th you know the I keep saying first week, but the first week of this reading, okay, this starts on July 10th. So just figure this is the 10th and this is the 31st, okay? So towards the beginning of this reading, or whenever you watch it, um, just figure this is 20 days, all right? All right, um... This first week, you follow your intuition. You, you feel really good about where you're going. You feel like you've made the right decision. And then, you know, you're, you're, you're still, but you're pessimistic. You're still weary. You've made the right decision, but you're still like, you've been wounded. You've been wounded, and that's not something that you can ever just forget about. You know, you have been wounded, and it's going to affect you for the rest of your life. Um... And you decide that you can't hang around anymore. You're not going to... You can't make any more sacrifices. All right? So, then it turns to... Okay, something has ended. This has ended. You finally made the decision. It's over. It's over. It's over. Okay? The universe hears that. Beware. Something's going on that you are not aware of. Something's going on behind the scenes. This doesn't have to be bad. This absolutely doesn't look bad, considering the other cards. This right here is an ending of this, of some kind of um, bad situation, you know, with somebody who who probably cut you down, all right? I'm sorry to tell you that. Um, but something is going on behind the scenes, so beware. I mean, somebody could be pregnant or they could become pregnant towards the um, towards the middle of this reading okay so this is the middle of the reading it's the 10th through the 31st so what is that the 20th yeah so around the 20th um, just be careful you don't want to get pregnant maybe you do I don't know but this is um, it could be a birth anything like that um, And this is a time of 
praying in a time of contemplation, a time of um, going within, you know. It's just a time to just be by yourself and think about things. This is the, this is like the 20th, 21st, 22nd, okay. Be careful, you could get pregnant. Or so you might hear of somebody else getting pregnant. Maybe this person got somebody else pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. I see something to do with a pregnancy. Or motherhood. Or motherhood. Um, if you, if not, this is just uh, you glowing like you were pregnant, okay, towards this time. You, you know how a pregnant woman glows. She's, she does. So this, this woman, she's, her, inside of her, she has a baby growing. I mean... She is so vibrant. She is so beautiful. So you are, even though, even if you don't have a baby growing, this is your energy. You are absolutely glowing to the world, okay? Towards around the 20th through the 23rd, 24th. Um, <laughs> 23rd, 24th, that's funny. Um, I just, I let the guides uh, tell me what to say. And you know, Sometimes I say a little bit just like that. And it was perfect how that came out. Because things are coming to me so quickly from all different directions, I can't get it out. And sometimes I just need to stop and think to listen to hear what I'm being told. Okay? And I have to say what, come, what they tell me or they wouldn't trust me to do this. Okay? So I say what I hear. <laughs> Anyhow, I see around the 20th to the 23rd, 24th, you are going to be looking very beautiful. <coughs> okay. And I think an unexpected choice is going to come in after that. An unexpected choice in love that you don't ex even see coming, okay? And when it does come, you're going to be like, who are you? You know what I mean? Because it's unexpected. and But the thing is, is it's so powerful that you just go with it, okay? And it starts your new life path, okay? It's a new life lesson for you. It's a new life cycle. Could be a marriage, you know, it's something that big. A new big um, thing is on the horizon for you. Something very big. Life changing. And it is connected to another person where you both feel very comfortable with each other. So comfortable with each other that you can walk around the house naked. Seriously. I mean, you feel so comfortable with each other that there's no shame. You don't have to hide a thing from this person. I want to know who, what the sign is of this person. What's, what's their sun sign? You know, you've been, um, it's hard. It's hard to finally decide not to hang around and wait for anybody anymore or somebody. It's hard to finally let go. All right? It is. It's hard. And it's, you know, it, it is tension while that's happening. There is tension. And you do feel a loss, okay, when somebody walks away. But there is a time of recuperation, all right? You recuperate pretty quickly. You do. You recuperate <coughs> and you move on. And the universe, the universe is here in so many cards, okay? This is all very universally driven, okay? This is destiny. You, this, you have learned a major life lesson. A major, a major period in your life has just ended. And a new one is about to begin with somebody else. It's about to begin because there has been a split from somebody else that has caused you a lot of hurt and it's probably an air sign. You followed your intuition. You might have become aware of something that was going on behind the scenes. Somebody might have became pregnant. I don't know.
This is going to resonate for some, not all. And only some parts will resonate for some because this is for a wide, wide audience. So it covers so many different people. So please remember that. Some of it may or may not resonate with you and some other parts of it may. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Ace of Swords. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. This is also a card about communication, all right? Perhaps you learned something about this that, that pushes you in the whatever was going on behind the scenes becomes known <laughs> towards the, oh, it could have happened already, but it, if it hasn't, you know, probably towards the, um, between the uh, 14th and the 19th, you know, you might become aware of something that was going on and you might, so you might hear about it. You might hear about it and um, you might even have a dream that leads you in that direction, okay? Um, either way, either way, you're starting new. You are starting anew. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation. You you do. The truth comes out. The truth is going to come out this month, whatever it is, regarding this. If it's not a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, it's somebody who acts like this person. They speak without, they speak without tact. Okay, they speak without thinking. They they um, don't care if it hurts you or not. They're gonna say it. They're thinking about themselves first in every single situation. And I know some of you may not like to hear that, but that's that's the description of you know what I mean. So, and I've read it in several different ways uh, in several different places. It is this person is very. They can be cruel with their words because they want the outcome. When they're doing anything, no matter what it is, they are thinking about how it is best going to suit them. Okay? So that's, I mean, and that's completely opposite of who you are. So there's been some difficulties. <laughs> there definitely has been some difficulties. But anyway, you're going to see the truth of the situation. You are. I think you have been seeing it for a while now. Um... And it's a challenging, it's a challenge, this new phase, this new beautiful phase of your life is still going to have challenges, okay? But <clears throat> you're going to be very successful. I don't think you're going to be doing this new phase of life alone, put it that way. Could be with a Gemini. We have a Gemini up here as well. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The sun. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. You're going to have plenty of your confidence in yourself with this person that you're going to join with. Okay? It's going to be a lot of happiness. There's going to be love, harmony, um, and feeling. Just no shame. No worries. All right? And it says brilliant new ideas. You hear what I'm saying? New. Aces are new. Okay. Bring it new ideas. The same thing. Bring it new ideas. Bring it new ideas. Bring it new ideas. <laughs> it's then this is your brilliant new phase. This is your brilliant new life. I just put brilliant in front of that. Um It is. It really, really is. It's something that you have been longing for. This is a love reading. What, what's the sign of this person? That's what I want to know. I want to know who this person is. Who is this person? Please be clear with the sun sign if you could. <laughs> oh, could be a Gemini. Sun, and this is a sign of Gemini. I just said, please be clear. And I looked down and I saw that. <laughs> Here.
here we have a Sagittarius and here we have a Gemini Libra or Aquarius again hmm. strong indication it's a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius Gemini is the most prominent um, second would be Libra and Aquarius in with which would be you know a tie then we have a uh, Sagittarius here this is you so I'm not going to read off the other ones um, definitely uh, my guess is it's an air sign who's going to be your who is your partner in this new life journey now you could have had an air sign in the past and still have a, nut, a new one so keep that in mind don't let that fog your brain that oh oh well he's he's a Gemini he's a Gemini no 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 I think this is somebody new could be a new Gemini could be a new Libra I see new beginnings new I want to see the new sexual partner card will you show me that card please Oh, somebody from the past. <clears throat> I should have saw that one coming. I did see that one coming. I did. I thought it was somebody from the past because this has been coming for a while now. And this is often a soulmate twin flame. I think it is. And when you, and a twin flame is somebody from your past. That's that's just the way it is. It could be a past life, past relationship, whatnot. I consider this a twin flame card, and so and this so so this would be almost like a twin flame card too. You know, especially when they're together. I feel that way. Um, oh, beautiful. This makes sense. You've been, you've been going through a time of isolation. Here's the recuperation below that I was mentioning earlier, the recuperation, the time of figuring this out. There's been tensions, there's, there's been remorse or whatnot. You know, there's been a lot of hurt and you've needed some time to heal and just go within and deal with this shit. And, um, and I think you've done a very good job. I think that your prayers have been answered. I do. I think your prayers have been answered. Your time of isolation you has, um, has, giving you some um, answers that you seek okay not only that you have been communicating with the universe in your time of recuperation in your time of isolation your time of being independent and alone you have been more spiritual you have been communicating with the universe you have been listening to your intuition you have been talking to your guides and they are talking back with these two cards they are giving you your answers with these two cards right here you they're both unexpected they're both unexpected this is an unexpected love and this is an unexpected um, disaster that really isn't a disaster it's something that brings in this person from the past and it's all universally driven because of you manifesting it during your time of recuperation meditation isolation following your intuition talking to your guides you man you been the more you talk to them the more they talk back to you that's what's happening here you're starting a new journey mm -hmm. and it is a beautiful one where there's no shame and no fear there might be a little bit of fear when this happens or or shock per se shock but the shock probably brings in this person I think it does. It brings in the, these the same people. Somebody from the past that you didn't expect. This is July 10th through the 31st. What else do you have for Taurus? Thank you, by the way, for all the messages.
We do have a Virgo over here now. But I don't think it, I think it's uh, um, energy. Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew it. Okay. So, I don't think, okay, this, so this card can mean so many things. <clears throat> I don't think this person from the past is somebody that you were with six months ago, okay, or a year ago, all right? I think it's somebody that you were with in the past, 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 past could be when you were a child, could be in a past life, could be 20 years ago, you know, some because that's what new love is. Somebody you haven't been with in the recent past, okay? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This card is going to go up here. This is what has made you decide right up here. Because you decide it's over. It's really over. Whether it's you were tied to this person still um, mentally or physically. Once you make that decision to end it, this new love is presented. Or you decide, I'm going to go find new love. Maybe you don't haven't seen them yet because it looks like new love comes in down here. Perhaps you finally open to it. Probably going to happen pretty quick. Yeah, I think it is going to happen quick. And there's going to be a lot of passion. A lot of passion. Very passionate, sensual, feeling really good. I mean, really, really good. I'm feeling good, definitely. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. That's going right here. Let your friends help you. Perhaps it's even let your friends in. <clears throat> okay, let your friends in. Maybe you're too far into isolation. And you need to open up a little bit. Maybe you need to go out and have fun. Maybe you need to go out and have fun to reconnect with this person. Maybe you need to get together with your friends and... Um, reconnect with whoever this is when this card comes up it often says perhaps one of your it could be one of your friends like imagine that or your friends will be the one to bring you together with this person that could definitely be it definitely be it oh <laughs> this is your recuperation period it's going right here this is it's amazing how these cards play out. Retreat. This is where you've been. It's time to disconnect from the world. And if it's not where you've been, it could be coming up. You know, when you finally decide not to hang anymore, you know, you might need a minute to get back on your feet and let this new love in. When you finally decide to let this go mentally and physically, you might need time more time. I know you're like, man, I've had enough. But if you haven't let it go, then you, 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 you haven't finished the journey yet. You can't get to here until you really seriously release that. It's time to disconnect from the world. <clears throat> you also, I mean, this person that you let go could also be a Pisces. There's a Pisces under here with the moon card and it connected to this. I think it's an air sign. Could be a Pisces. Ah, this is definitely part of it. Oh. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
children your love life is being affected by children absolutely in many 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 cases we have the motherhood the mother the earth mother down here perhaps that's part of the problem that somebody you know and not that it's a problem to be a mother it's not but perhaps that's part of what is stopping you from looking for new love you know or perhaps that's why um people haven't come is because you're a mother you know and they don't want to have anything to do with children whatever but that could is definitely a, a scenario all right maybe you need to let your friends help you with your with the children you know so that you can go out with this person or to meet this person or whatever the case is um maybe you're giving more too much time to your to your children and not balancing it out so that you can meet this person you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say here healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents this unexpected unexpected disaster I mean healing family issues might have something to do with um, your parents okay it's not really a disaster anyway it's a blessing it just it's very shocking at first and it it will cause you to forgive I mean not cause you but it will it will um, <clears throat> push you to forgive it will it will it will push you to forgive and perhaps become more um, together it might bring you more together as a family let your friends help you perhaps you need to go to an event where you meet this person all right you might meet this person at an event that your friends are you know a social event where your friends are involved so this is what I have for you Taurus It looks you like you are going to have an unexpected choice in love towards the very end of the month. Okay, this is the end of the month. Be, in the meantime, you need to continue to release this. You need to continue to recuperate and heal with your family because the more you heal, the the better it's going to be you're, the better your relationship is going to be if you can forgive your parents or your family or your brothers or your sisters or whoever it is that has betrayed you and caused you tension um if you can forgive them you will you you heal instantly you do either way by the end of the month, you should be starting a new phase of your life. That's what this card says. You should have ended a, a project that has affected your life, you know, forever, is now over. Okay? And now it's time to start a new one. It's time to start a new project concerning your life path. That's at the end of the month. This unexpected is right at the end of the month as well. It's going to aid in this. And it might be a shock. It might be a shock, but it's a blessing. Okay? So this is what I have for you. I know it's a lot to consume. I have to say whatever comes out of my mouth because that's what I am told to do. If I don't do that, I won't be able to do this anymore because they won't trust me. Um, so yeah, I know this is for a very wide audience, so if it doesn't resonate with you, please check your rising sign or your moon sign, 
or both and or just take out what does resonate I mean like I said this is for what 10,000 people whoever watches it I mean whoever watches this video could be 20,000 people whoever watches it I mean we are all different so this probably has something for everybody all right God bless and thank you for watching and I look forward to hearing from you I typically do my readings um, uh, based on who I get the most comments from and the most likes um, and so you know I just whoever gives me the most love I tend to do the the readings for next is just who I am so um, that's my usual thank you you want to see something crazy I'll show it to you real quick I dyed my hair blonde tomorrow it won't be it looks like complete shit but tomorrow it will be dark again because I can't deal with this